my name's Haley with Six String Country, and in these lessons, we are going to be doing some alternate voicings, which are basically different ways to play the same kind of chords. So, especially in country, this is very handy because we tend to see a lot of very similar chord progressions. So, especially um, if you're playing rhythm, you don't always just want to play those cowboy chords. Um, you know, sometimes those fit really well with things, but these chords are going to show you ways to make those uh, chord progressions sound a little bit more artistic. So we're going through some just standard keys here. Um, and then if you were to like, say play in like the key of F or something like that, you could just capo it and play these same chord shapes. So um, some of these are, well, actually most of them are very dependent on using open strings. So they are gonna be kind of key specific. So that's how we'll be working through them. But um, I think a lot of these are just so much fun to play and they're really beautiful. So I hope that you enjoy learning these. Let's jump into it. So this next set of E shapes, um, they're very kind of similar to just the normal open E, but we have a little bit of a higher shape going on. So um, it does have a different kind of feel or different voicing to it. So I'm going to start off with this one, basically playing um, my E bar chord up here that's starting on the seventh fret. But instead of playing all that, I'm playing it open, so. Um, and this obviously sounds a lot prettier on acoustic than just a bar chord. So I have my first fret, or my first finger on my seventh fret of my A string, and then I have my third and fourth finger on the ninth fret on the D string and the G string. So. Okay, so if I'm going to now the uh, five or the B in E, what I can do is just shift this finger down and then I'm basically outlining my B bar chord here. So it's kind of cool. So now I have basically my uh, seventh fret on my A, my ninth fret on my D, and then I have my eighth fret on my, um, my G string and then I'm still playing the B and E open. Um, and again, you don't wanna play the low E on these. So, um, so that's a really easy transition then from going from those two chords. Okay, and then um, moving down, I'm just gonna do my six minor and my A shape the same as I did in the open bar chord. So I'm just going uh, six minor like this or my C sharp minor. So fourth fret on A and then my D and G are both having the sixth fret. And then I'm sliding those fingers down to go into my A, just normal here on the second fret. Um, so I think that that's just a fun little trick. Um, and you can, especially with these E ones, mix them all together. So if you don't want to stick to just, you know, using one of those voicings, you could combine a lot of them um, and, uh, or do different things for different verses to like keep things interesting. Um, so that is some kind of higher shapes that you can do for your E open bar chords. So for these G chords that I'm playing on electric, they do also work for acoustic as well. I have a little bit of like reverb on there to make it sound very airy. Um, but basically what we're doing for these is we're just playing the root note on the uh, E string, the low E. So I have my G note here. And then I have my third finger 
on the B string, basically on a like fifth above. So um, an octave above the fifth here. So right now it's on a D note here. So what I'm doing for these, since um, it doesn't sound as good, I think if you're strumming all of them, but it doesn't sound bad. Um, I'm just doing kind of hybrid picking with my finger on the low E and then on the G and B. So we can just keep this shape for a major and minor since uh, since we're using the five above for a minor, we don't have a different shape. So whatever your root note is on your low E string, that's just what your chord is. So for my uh, G, it's gonna be like this. All right, so then going up now to my um, D here, I'm just gonna go to my D note, do that same shape. So this would be like my five. For my six minor, which is my E minor, I'm just gonna go up here to the 12th fret. Um, still that same shape, so both of them are on the 12th fret. And then last one here, I'm going to my C. So I have uh, both fingers here on the eighth fret. So this um, kind of thing you can use with like a lot of different progressions. Like it just kind of goes up in order of the scale like. So there's really a lot of options with it. Um, so I think this is really pretty, it is really pretty on acoustic too. So definitely try it out there um, and see if you like the more like hybrid picking or finger picking style or strumming. Um, so that is some kind of, I guess, the root note and the five above in G. Thank you.